You know what, Gemini? I really want to say watch your moon, sun, and rising, and also Venus. Um, Venus if you're a woman, Mars if you're a man. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I could feel certain energies that watch me. And I feel like for the new love portion, this might be like a cross-watching message. So like if you're a Gemini, make sure that you watch your sun, moon, and rising. But let's see, because some of you are, like, super singles and looking for, like, new love messages. But there are also some people that are, like, messing with the Gemini. Like, that's new love for them. And they might get something from this message as well. So just make sure you're covering all your bases, watching your sun, moon, and rising. All right, let's see. What's going on with Gemini's new love? What is going on with Gemini? Oh, hold on. Forgot my motherfucking spray, child. So let's get into this. We're gonna get, to, <laughs> we're gonna get into their feelings. Who are they? What they're doing? Their hidden intentions? How they view you and the outcome? Gemini's new lover. Ooh, some of you gonna have a couple. Like, I'm seeing, like, bitches on bitches on bitches. Or, like, bitches on top of bitches on top of bitches. Like, that's how many options. Or, like, dudes. Or something like that. Some of you, oh my gosh, some of you have recently or will release, like, your favorite hoe. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> this, my hair hurt. Like, your, yeah, look, five of pentacles. Like, your favorite hoe. They could be a Taurus. Or a Scorpio or like a fire sign or something like that. But I'm getting like this is your favorite hoe. Like they could have like bomb dick. You know what I'm saying? Look, that's confirmation. Or like they're just your favorite hoe. Like and I'm not saying like ho ho. <laughs> I mean like your favorite dude, like, you know, your main person, even though like y'all probably not in a relationship right now. Like, this could have been, like, a past person. You know what I'm saying? I'm just getting, like, your favorite ting releasing that or, like, you know, it not working now. Even though you really wanted it to. Okay, I know you want it. Okay, what's going on with Gemini's new lover? Okay, right there. <laughs> They're horny. They want to fuck you. Their feelings are the Ace of Wands. They want to fuck you. They, ooh, they're very sexually attracted to you. But I'm trying to figure out if they can afford this baby they trying to make with you. Can they? Can they motherfucking afford this baby they trying to make with you, child? Ooh, you guys are the perfect match. I like this. So, mmm. <laughs> no wonder why, like, this is your favorite hoe. Because, like... Y'all are just in sync. Like, I, I'm getting this energy of, like, finishing each other's sentences. Or, like, just being on the same, like, wavelength with someone. Like, this person just understands you. Or they just fucking get it. Like, you ever meet somebody that just fucking gets it? Like, either sexually or just intimately without having sex. Or just, like, um, mentally. Like, this person gets you. But they got another bitch or like they got holes like i don't like that type of energy so their feelings are the ace of wands they're very sexually attracted to you i'm getting like if this person has had your coochie before they want it again especially if this is sagittarius if you're a sagittarius i mean if you're a sagittarius well if you might be a sagittarius with like a gemini placement child or you fucking lie but but I'm getting that this person is very sexually attracted to you. And they've even envisioned you, like, having a child with them. Or, like, taking things to the next level. For some of you. For others of you, this person is, like, viewing you as their baby mother. Or the mother of their child. Um, If you've already had a child with this person, they want another one. I know, right? Like, after all of the shit that they put you through with the Six of Cups. Because I don't feel like this is, like, a warm, fuzzy Six of Cups. Like, I feel like y'all have been through some motherfucking shit. Like, some real shit. Um, and had to, like, rebuild each tower. Now, this person could apologize to you through, like, gifting you things or giving you flowers and stuff like that. Um... They're going to try, like, that tactic again, like, trying to gift you with something or trying to bring something in hand to try to, like, 
balance out the situation. But, like, they still on bullshit. I'm also getting, like, you might hear news that this person has, like, impregnated an ex. I'm also getting some of you, oh, my gosh. Why do I feel like I'm talking about, like, a past person? I don't like this. This is supposed to be new love. For some of you, this person is dating somebody that looks like you. Or, like, they will. Okay, so, for some of you, this might be, like, an ex or someone that you have history with. I feel like they're trying to, like, doppelganger you. That's weird as hell. Now, for others of you, this person has, like, mommy and daddy issues. Because I kind of feel like, um, at times they talk about you to their mother or their father about, like, y'all problems. Um, and, like, what what you guys go through or, like, what, or like the status of your relationship. And I'm kind of getting, like, the female of this male's life, like, like the family members, like, the female family members are kind of hating on you because, like, they want him to be around them more often or, like, show the same passion that he shows for you to them, which is where this house. I feel like somebody mommy on some bullshit or something like that. But I am getting that somebody is attached to somebody from their past or things of their past. Now, another message, there's a past person that wants to, like, be your new love. Like, they feel like you have been dating other people or, like, your past love situation is, like, your past new love. And, like, they want to be, like, the new love now. <laughs> I'm getting, like, this person has waited until, like, you, you've forgotten things of the past so that they could come in and be the new love. So, like, you might be, like... Mm, no, because I'm getting that this person still has other options. Because why is the outcome the queen of pentacles? Like, there's too many motherfuckers on this board for this to be new love. But I am getting, like, a lot of communication from this person. They do want to talk to you. They also want to be super honest um, with you about something. Let's see. What is that? Oh. They could... Ooh. Ooh. This is this is initially the energy that I was getting, sending you there or some sexual energy. But then this flipped over. So this person is messy. Like, if this is a new Gemini that you're talking to, they're messy as hell. Like, I feel like they're having sex with other people. Now, again, y'all, like, for new love, people be dating. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not in a new committed relationship with them yet. But I am getting this energy of, like, somebody is very sexually driven. Point blank, period. Now, if they're not being honest about, like, they, they really want to bone you or they really want sex or, like, the conversation is very sexual, this is their true intentions. But I do feel like they're going to voice that to you. Yeah, look at this shit. Somebody has a mistress, even though they're in a relationship. They act like they're single because they have so many damn options, so people perceive them to be single. This could be you or somebody else. But this person's confusing as hell. This definitely could be like a Gemini. And then, like, there's just a woman here that matches that Gemini energy. So you could definitely have Libra or Aquarius in your chart or have some Gemini in your chart as well, which is why you mesh with this person so well. But I'm not getting like, this is like a divine union type of situation because this person is in like, this, this person's on some bullshit. For some of you, this could be like um, the same sex relationship that I was getting. Now, for those Geminis out there that are, like, female, like, like if you're, like, a lesbian, I'm getting that there might be a male that tries to, like, entice you to play for the other team, but you're not going to be into that because it's just, like, no, I like Hoochie, like, you dummy. Like, I'm getting that, <laughs> I'm getting that energy as well. But as of new love, I feel like these new options are just very horny and they have a lot of options i don't like this because it's like damn you could have kept your old ho if if this is what new love is giving you know what i'm saying like i feel like new love is still dealing with past people still like making you wait on shit even though that they want to like start something new with you they want to have sex they want to be open about that but some of them aren't it's like what the hell is going on with this person so let's see why the hell their hidden intentions is the queen of swords like that right there is weird as hell to me like what why is their intention the queen of swords 
And I feel, I feel like this person wants to like blow you away sexually. They definitely like talk about you. Yeah, look, the Queen of Swords confirming the Queen of Swords. So, um, Gemini. This person. I'm sorry, I don't like this. Because it's like, this person knows you so well, or they feel like they know you so well. So this is like a completely new person. They're studying the hell out of you. And it's kind of like, to try to manipulate you, I'm sorry. Or like, try to like, you know how like when somebody like, overly is super concerned with like every little detail about somebody so that they can use it against them or that they can manipulate them. It's like this person wants to find out like what makes you trigger or what makes you sad, what makes you happy so that they could like kind of use those things against you one day. Um, Not in like an argument, but just like to manipulate you. Like this is some weird ass shit. I'm sorry y'all. Like I just have to be honest with you. It's like this person wants to know what your ex did to you so like they could like see your boundaries or like you know what i'm saying like how far you would go for a man or how far you would go for a woman so just be really really careful yeah look eight of swords i don't like this i'm also getting like somebody wants you to be like a baby mama that just takes care of the kids and like doesn't give your coochie away even though they be like that and it's like excuse me yeah look hierophant reverse What is this? They're a liar? It's like this person doesn't want to be super honest with you with like, what's the real facts? They're sexually driven. Like that's their intentions is to be super sexual with you, to have sex with you, to make you wait, to make, to build like a bond or to like make sure that your emotions grow for them. Like that's what they want to do. I'm also getting like they're reconnecting with people of their past. So, like, this person kind of wants to manipulate you into feeling like you're in a relationship with them, doing everything that you have to do in a relationship, but not giving you that title. Fuck them. Who the fuck is this? They view you as the king of swords. So, this definitely could be a person that feels like you're not easily to be manipulated, but they feel like that challenge can be broken by them what some of you could be dealing with the earth sign a virgo taurus or a capricorn as well why do they view gemini as the king of swords i'm kind of getting like if you're a man that's in the same sex relationship like i was saying um people people view you as like having your shit together being very decisive on what you say um very assertive in your opinion and not taking shit for nobody and i'm also getting that they wait for your opinion so there are bitches talking about you that wait on your opinion for things that's just a side message or they want to know like how you view certain things look this motherfucking queen of swords keep coming out child for some of you, new love is connected to, like, an ex-wife. Gemini, y'all readings are always, like, out of the motherfucking world, child. For a pinnacles. And what is this that for? For a wands in reverse. I'm getting, like, somebody that has trouble paying, like, rent or bills. Somebody feels like, okay, if you're living with someone, um, I know this is so crazy because this is new love, and it's just like, girl, why are you talking about past love situations and things that have, like, formed already? This is what's coming out, child. I don't know what to tell you. So maybe you're just watching this new love for, like, a different spread or something like that, but this is what's coming out. I'm getting that, like, somebody might be manipulative during, like, when it's time to pay bills or time to, like, take care of a child or, like... Yeah, like, this is money that you're supposed to be giving out because you reside here as well. So it's hard for somebody to pay their rent even though they have a lot of shit to say. Or, like, they have a lot of, like, mind manipulation going on. It's like, why don't you use all of that mental energy that you're trying to do to, like, 
manipulate other people into manifesting some money so that you can get your own crib. So somebody views somebody as like kind of not, not being shit. I'm going to be honest with you. So the outcome is the queen of pentacles. So I see you shitting on this person financially or like hiding your money. I'm also getting like something with somebody is going to like try to woo a, a new lover with money. And like they don't have enough money to get their child like clothes and stuff like that so i feel like a man a gemini man might be on some bullshit but like telling their family members something differently like yeah i got him shoes or i got my kids shoes and stuff like that it's like they love their children but they act dumb or they just make dumb decisions yeah king of wands they're a player why is the outcome queen of pentacles Oh. Six of Cups. What's this? Damn, Five of Cups. The Emperor. Two of Cups reversed. Eight of Cups reversed. Nine of Pentacles. So I'm getting that, like, there is a, a disconnection that happens, but then somebody comes back around. What? And the reason why they are disconnecting is because they're going to, they're going to somebody from their past and then going to return to you and that doesn't work out. That is so dumb. That is so dumb. I feel like you should focus on money cuz like this new love shit ain't it ain't giving what it's supposed to give. I don't like that. I really don't like that, y'all. I really wish I could have came on here and been like, yeah, this person's super sexually attracted um, to you. They're waiting on you. Um, they even think that you have a past life with them. They think that you're super witty. They think that, like, you match their energy. And they want to give you money. But, like, that's not what the fuck this is. This is somebody else's motherfucking bullshit. Like, I feel like they got options. I feel like this person's very sexually driven. They're very horny. They want to have sex with you. They want to make you wait. Some of them want to impregnate you, even though they already did that before. Um, some of you, they've impregnated somebody else. And you don't know this because this is a new lover. Like, they're still attached to somebody from their past because they impregnated them and I see them going back to this person even though they have like a really dope connection with you mentally it's like this person on bullshit so like don't trust them all right Gemini let's get into your past lover maybe your past boo or your old boo is like you know what I'm saying hitting on something or doing something 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 because this motherfucker tripping <laughs> 